Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and we have iOS 14.2 installed onto our device here. So let's go ahead and check out what's new, starting with uh, the about screen here in the settings app. Obviously software version has now changed to iOS 14.2. Build number is 18B5052H. Go down to mode and firmware here, it's 2.01.01. .01. Now, the first big change that I wanted to show you guys is actually one that will be very useful for a lot of you guys out there. And it's found in the control center menu here in the control um, or in the settings app. So if we go down here into more controls, there will now be an added control for Shazam music recognition. So let's go ahead and add that to our control center and take a look. So this is the new tile here. If you tap on it, you will now have music recognition on. And basically what this does is, as long as this little tile is pulled on or turned on, you can walk around and Shazam will automatically recognize music and basically suggest it for you. So if you were at like a party or something like that, you don't have to whip out your phone, load an app and do all that. It will always be listening for music and specifically recommend those songs for you. So I think that's a really cool addition to iOS 14 here, something that we've really never seen before on a system level um, from any other operating system. So definitely go ahead and check this out. I think it'll be a really useful feature uh, for a lot of you guys out there who uh, love to listen to music and just want to kind of expand your own library. Now, the next thing comes in the control center as well. It looks like Apple's main focus here was on the control center. And we have something new here uh, on the top tile for media playing. So if we open up this tile here, as you can see, it looks a lot different um, from what we saw before in iOS 14 and iOS 13. So this tile has now expanded. When you expand this tile, it almost expands to almost two thirds of the screen. So a very big new tile here, and this might kind of uh, give us a little hint as to what's to come with the new iPhone. I suspect with this big of tiles, that would look really cool on a bigger display. Now, if we go into some of these specific menus here, you can see that some things have changed. Um, speakers and TVs, this whole uh, kind of like bottom menu looks a little bit different here. The corners are definitely more rounded, and it just looks like Apple is going for essentially a brand new look here for the control center and more along the lines of the media playing uh, kind of toggles here. Now, if I were to go ahead and start playing a song, um, this also reflects on the lock screen. So I'll go ahead, lock my device here very quickly, turn that back on, and you can see that it looks very different here on the lock screen as well, as far as music playing. So what I notice is that this UI here uh, for the uh, song like album artwork is essentially bigger, but it also shows where it's coming from. It showed that before, but it was all in the information tab up here. And this actually so shows which app is playing this song. So that's really cool, a really cool addition there. Um, just a very small detail that Apple wanted to put in there. And then obviously um, this change here is a little bit different from what you see in the control center, but also different from what we were seeing previously. So I really like that Apple is kind of maintaining um, different looks across the UI experience here. And um, yeah, that continues on to the lock screen. Now, another new item that I wanted to uh, kind of highlight for you guys is, is in the magnifier app. So uh, we actually have new controls here for the magnifier app. So if we go into settings here, we have people detection. So that's kind of cool um, that you can kind of have that. I don't know exactly the application that you can really have um, for in the magnifier app having people detection, but it looks like it's there. Um, I'd be curious to know uh, what good that would do you. Um, but yeah, it is there. That is something new within iOS 14. Um, so you can go ahead and add that into your secondary controls for the magnifier app. So if I wanted that, those controls are down here on the bottom. Um, so if I wanted to, uh, let's say, um, look for a specific person, I could go ahead and do that um, should I uh, see a person or something like that. Um, that's very interesting. I don't know why that's in the magnifier app specifically, um, but it is there and it is a new feature within iOS 14.2. So guys, that was about it for new features and changes. I just wanted to touch up on like speed and performance for iOS 14.2. Um, speed and performance is about the same as to what we were seeing in iOS 14. So nothing really new there. I'm just noticing that things are working a little bit more consistently here in iOS 14.2 as far as speed goes. Um, so it looks like things are maybe slightly more consistent, but speed and performance really hasn't improved at all. Now, one more thing that I wanted to show you guys is battery life. My battery health hasn't uh, 
kind of gone down in the past couple betas that I've had, but battery life in general is doing really well here in iOS 14. So far with iOS 14.2, I noticed no difference and we ran some benchmarks as well didn't notice the difference there. So it looks like battery life is still going strong here. But yeah, guys, that was the iOS 14.2 um, update. Sorry for the very short format here. I have um, some things to work on specifically with some other content. So I just wanted to give you guys this quick update on iOS 14.2. Again, build number 18B5052H. I hope you guys enjoy this update. Um, check out what's new in the control center. Those things look really awesome. I'm really loving these improvements and hopefully um, Apple kind of brings these small UI improvements to other areas in iOS 14. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in some future content. Until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.